treats. They're gonna welcome him with open arms. He looks so good. Why are you recording me? Because you look good. Look at him. He ain't never looked better. What's up, guys? It's your girl River, and I am back again with another video and i am here to just talk about the fact that corey hardrick tia maori's ex-husband is outside <laughs> okay he this man is outside without apology <laughs> okay now i wanted to talk about this because of a lot of different reasons you know for one reason, there's not one time I can go on uh, TikTok or even Instagram for that matter and scroll and not see women who are literally drooling over this man. Drop them drawers. Denzel. Denzel? Look, lady, I just want to get... Stop! Drop! them drawers there are women who are dedicated to making all kinds of tiktok videos talking about their love and admiration for this man that they had never had before okay there is women who are out here talking about how they think that tia done messed up they don't know what she was thinking about they're trying to figure out what got up in her head to make her step away from her situation or her marriage with this man the streets they're gonna welcome him with open arms. He looks so good. Why are you recording me? Because you look good. Don't do me like I just that. said he looks legend. The first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that this is a grand example as how as to how when a man steps out of a relationship and a woman steps out of the relationship, that they have two very different outcomes from the streets. It's as if men are now just looking at women as objects Do you know what i mean and just from one need or perspective as opposed to yet building and growing and what i mean by building like building a family growing um a beautiful unit you know for your, your family and, and, and your kids now this is not a generalization i understand there are women who break away from situations or or um relationships and even have like a child or whatever the case is and end up in different relationships we know that to be true however for the majority of women, that is not their song. Okay? There are a lot of women who go out there thinking, again, that the grass is greener, thinking that they're going to be able to replace and change and do all of these things. When they go outside, they feel like outside is just going to stand out there with open arms and say, yes, we could not wait for you to come back. Here is all of the pick of the litter. Here are all the options. Here is the exemplary man, uh, you know, of everything that you felt like you were missing within your relationship. Here they are on a silver platter. This is a mindset that a lot of women have when they are thinking about, you know, breaking up their family, stepping away from their relationships. You know, instead of doing the work, sometimes even the inner work that is necessary to keep the relationship intact or together. A lot of these women rather, rather, you know, step out on a limb and again, go outside to these imaginary men that are not knocking down their door. You know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer. When on the contrary, when a man breaks away from the relationship, whether it is, I'm going to be honest, his fault or not whether it's some of his actions that were at play or not, he does not have the same outcome when he goes outside to the streets. If y'all broke up, who would have had a harder time finding someone? Ooh. And, and that can be if he, you know, don't let him even have a little, don't, don't let him look a certain way. Okay, let's start with the looks. Then don't let him have a little status or a little change. He paid me the most I've ever made in the film for three weeks. Really? Wow. Ever. Women on social media are flocking to this man. And what's so interesting is that a lot of these women who are, again, flocking to this man and posting him constantly and talking about, oh, girl, you know, you done messed up. Oh, girl, you know, you was tripping. A lot of these women who are doing these things were the same ones who were in Tia Maori's comment section cheering her on to be the single girl representative. Yeah, girl, represent for us. DMs that I have gotten from so many women that are going through the same thing and just saying how they admire my courage and my strength. 
Yeah, girl, you know, you the one who was standing up there showing us exactly what we should be doing. Yeah, you outside making all these TikToks. Yeah, we're going to be outside with you. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my hoe phase right now. Happiness over everything. Where's your mind? There was a lot of people who were in her comment sections who did not even have a relationship to even talk about. Who were supporting her and her going on all these campaigns talking about, again, being the representative of the single women. Now these same women are talking about, now, nah, girl, I think you might have been tripping. Oh, hold on, girl. Uh, now, I don't know about that now. Oh, baby. This is the best summer ever for Corey Hardry. Just look at him. He ain't never looked better. Be so for real. That man is <laughs> I don't think I ever looked twice at Corey Hardy. I'm going to keep it real with you. He always looked like Tia Huffman. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> But no, Corey, if you see this, call me. This is also a grand example of how other women will trick you up out your spot in your relationship. They will just feed your ego. Yeah, you know, you deserve to be happy. Well, if it didn't work, you know, you shouldn't keep trying. Yeah, you know, you should put yourself first. Self-love is the best love. You know, you just got to worry about you. You know what it is? It's self-love. That was what okay. You don't got to, you know, try to make it work. You don't got to, you know, fix or, or rise to the occasion. You don't have to work on yourself and see if maybe you have any selfish tendencies or you have, you know, if you're driven by your ego, you don't have to do any of those things. You could just go outside to the streets and you could just find somebody by tomorrow and make it work. You're not going to have no trouble dating. Which we all know that that was not the reality of the situation. Hard is it? in the dating oh, world now. <laughs> what is it like out there for, for, for a single a woman? <laughs> there are women who will sit with you and dog your man out to you. Oh, yeah, girl. You know, I can't even believe that you got with him in the first place. Oh, yeah, girl. You know, it could have never been me. Uh-uh. He is not even your type. He not even all that. He don't even do this. He ain't even got that kind of job like that. He not even making more than you. He can't even buy you a Birkin. They will dog your man out and then turn around and cartwheel, <laughs> cartwheel backflip into his DMs. You have women who will literally sit with another woman and tell them, oh, yeah, girl, you know, he wasn't the right guy for you. And will tell you all the negatives on why you should not work your relationship out. You have women who will do that over and over time and time again. And then when the relationship actually breaks up and you are having a hard time dating, they will, those same women who pushed you off the ledge will turn around and say, why did y'all break up in the first place? Girl, I don't know why you left him. He was a good man. You was tripping. Well, have you said and they're like, what? You're the one who told me. You're the ones who I confided in and you told me that this was a good idea. As soon as they see that man on the brink of success or they see him, you know, uh, doing good things for himself, making positive, um, you know, uh, spark within so the media, social media, getting good jobs, making good checks. Because, you know, he is Corey Hardrick has already stated that he's making more money than he's ever made on the project. He paid me the most I've ever made in the film for three weeks. Really? Wow. Ever. And I've worked on films five months, 75 million dollar budget. As soon as these women catch wind of this information, all of a sudden they're looking at you like you're the problem. Oh no, girl, I don't know what you talking about because you are tripping. Yeah, why did you leave him, girl? You better try to fix things with him. Girl, you might want to try to get back with him because I don't know what she was thinking. How could you leave this, 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 uh, you know, good man by himself? Why would you send him back to the streets? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, girl, did you really get him back to the streets? Y'all couldn't even take like maybe like three to four years apart, five years to kind of separate and come back to each other because the streets, they're going to welcome him with open arms. You know, what makes this situation so much more worthwhile is because, you know, after the breakup, 
and this is something that a lot of women do. And every time I talk about these situations, you know, it is not targeted to just Tia Maori and just Corey Hardrick. Like it is not specifically only talking about them. But what a lot of people have to understand is that, you know, although this is on display, it creates a deeper talking point because there are a lot of women who do the same things that Tia does after uh, Tia did after the breakup. There are a lot of women who they break up, and I'm talking about regular people who are not famous, who are not known, who after a breakup take all of their problems, their trauma, their 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 um, you know grievances, all to social media and consistently post and talk about their ex that they were in a relationship with. There are women who break up with their, you know, per the person that they were in a relationship with or their husband, and they go on social media and they are, you know desperately trying to prove how happy they are to be back in the streets desperately so again when i have these conversations it is not only tied to tia i'm just using that to have a deeper conversation to talk to other people but a lot of women do this. They take all their stuff on social media. They talk crap. They talk about who, you know, who is a good man, who wasn't. Oh, yes, you know, I'm out here to find this kind of guy who's going to be better than my last guy. You know, they say all of the foolishness. Yeah, Mari says dating is complicated, but she's not going back to something that no longer served me. Interestingly enough, more times than not, men are not the ones who are gallivanting on social media trying to prove anything to anybody. Most of the time when, when relationships break up, you see the men who are out there and they are just living and doing their own thing. You barely hear a pin drop from their side of the conversation. That's what makes this, this situation so interesting because not because the person who you know ran out first and was going around talking about everything, making her rounds on social media, liking people's posts. You made a very interesting comment under this video that was reposted by the Neighborhood Talk. And in this video, this guy named Lee Hammock was talking about toxic partners who refuse to pay bills. Going on relationship um, podcast, talking about this and that. Um, I just feel like things are so, um, it's like instant gratification. You know, I, mean, I just want something like quick, quick. You know, not because that person was out from the, from the gate means that they were right in totality of everything that was going on within that situation. A lot of people are applauding and supporting this situation with Corey, again, being outside, because he has been silent. I don't fall into the pressure. Like, you can't pressure me into putting no one down and saying, this is what happened, or they did me like, mm -hmm. never that, you know? It's always going to be unconditional love with me. We haven't heard nothing derogatory. We haven't heard him dragging her through social media. We haven't heard him talking about anything negative about her. We've literally only heard this man speak because he is on a movie campaign. That is the only reason. Had it not been for this movie, Corey Hardwick would still be, you know, off of social media, doing his own thing, posting here and there, and nobody would even hear him speak this much. I've never been that way. Even being in a situation married, I, I still never. And now when he does speak, he's speaking in the aspect of, you know, um, positivity, of I'm not drawn into the negativity of, you know, of anything. Even if I'm not in a relationship with this woman, I'm always going to protect her. I always protected my kids and, um, you know, I protected her as well because I feel like that's a man's duty, mm -hmm. you know, whether you're together or not, it's always protect her, even though no matter what's going on. You know, I'm thinking about my kids. I'm thinking about the, the future. I'm thinking about being progressive. And because he is not stagnant on talking about the same thing over and over again, or again, trying to prove to everybody how happy he was, you know, this man blatantly came out and talked about how upset he was and how he cried himself to sleep every night after the relationship broke apart. You know, it was a couple, a year and a half, crying myself to sleep every night. You know, nobody see that. Yeah. Nobody see that. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you, you, you live five minutes away from your babies, you know what I'm saying? Because people who know Corey Hardrick know that his kids and his family was everything to him. He was, he was speaking the truth about his feelings. Not trying to mask them and hide them and, and pretend like everything is all good when he's like, no, it wasn't all good. I loved my family unit. I love my family structure. I didn't want to break up my, my relationship. I didn't want for us to separate. I didn't want that to happen. 
And I have to say it again. Every time I talk about it, I have to say the same thing. It's so interesting because women are the ones who rush men into, oh, well, you know, I'm not just going to be a girlfriend. If you want to be with me, you got to put a ring on my finger. Oh, well, you know, um, we've been together long enough. I want to have a child. You know, you need to go ahead and give me a child. Women are the ones who, br who rush the brush in all these situations, but men are the ones who are standing in the paint. Majority of the time. We saw her completely, we saw Tia completely gallivant all over social media and then come back and talk about how, you know, the, the waves of sadness and the emotional this and the emotional that. And a stronger version of myself that emerged from the experience. The moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant, then suddenly waves of emotions hit you all over again. You try different things to soothe and release emotional buildup and seeking therapy to cope with the breakup and the dreams you have for the future. One of the things that we can 100% learn from this situation is that number one, you should not be allowing anybody to come up and trick you up out of your spot. That's number one. Number two, don't believe the hype. If you could fix it, you better go fix it. Just like the situation I talked about recently with, with the, um, the couple YouTubers, Rissa and Quan, where she done came on the camera and was like, nah, I had to take accountability. I was tripping. I messed up. We're, the reason why we're even able to sit right here is because I had to take accountability for something. I had to apologize to Quan. He had to accept my apology. And that's why we're even sitting here. Even though they didn't go into depths of what it is, she made sure to hold on and let everybody know that, nope, he's right. I did something and I had to own up to it. And that's the only reason why we're able to even communicate on social media is because if I did not own up to what I did, we wouldn't even be here. The humility to be able to do that. If a lot of women had the humility to be able to drop the ego, not care about what other people think, not care about what other people are going to say, not get too much advice from the peanut gallery, a lot more women would be in the relationships with the ideal man that they wanted to be with, but they just could not get it right. And that's real. When I say could not get it right, I mean, uh, you know, the man that they had to step up to the plate and level up, not disrespect him, not belittle him, not minimize him, not override the things that he says within his own household. And I can create a whole longer list. A lot of women get too invested in their friendships and what their homegirls got to say and their homegirls' opinions and what everybody else thinks instead of dealing with the, the thick of it. Because I can guarantee most of those women that these women go to and talk to, they don't want you to have the ideal relationship anyway. They want to be the ringleader in the group. They want to have the ideal relationship and everybody else's relationship is under theirs. A lot of them are not getting truthful and honest advice. And at the end of the day, a lot of women will forfeit the man who they can depend on in all facets for the homegirls that when they call at the drop of the dime ain't coming to help them out. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.